Now moving on to news on the election season that's opening in Rajasthan. If your victory margin is less than a thousand votes, get ready to be axed, says the Congress, as it gets into the mode of finalizing tickets for the state, which goes to the elections on the 1st of December. The Congress screening committee is finalizing names for 200 constituencies, where this time the party is set for a close contest with the BJP. Last time, it got 96 seats in the 200-member assembly. The BJP got 76. No party crossing that magic 100 mark and the Congress formed the government with outside support. That's why this time the Congress says each seat is crucial. With the countdown to elections, the race for tickets is also hotting up. In Rajasthan, the stakes are high. Facing an anti-incumbency wave, the Congress knows that clever ticket distribution will hold the key to a repeat performance. Ticket winability is in the way. Now, the people of the Pradik Charitra will not give them tickets. And the people of the Pradik Charitra will also give them tickets to the people of the Pradik Charitra. Congress sources say the party will not give tickets to those sitting MLAs whose victory margin was less than a thousand votes last time. Like Education Minister Bridge Kishore Sharma, who recently had to face the anger of people in his own constituency over non-performance. With a victory margin of just 580 votes, the minister knows he could be axed. Congress party, if I give a ticket to the air, I will have to run away from the air. Like Bridge Kishore, there are eight other sitting MLAs who did not get a thousand votes more than their nearest rival. Saleh Mohammed, MLA from Pokhran and son of Ghazi Fakir, who ran into controversy recently over his history sheet being opened, is another such MLA who could lose a ticket this election. In Jaipur, Harsha Kumari Singh, NDTV.